We got some 2019 stuff and some epic reveals. Hey guys, I do just want to quickly mention that I am now on Patreon, so if you guys are interested in getting your name in the credits of all of my videos and getting exclusive early access to some of my videos on my channel, such as Mesozoic Isle, please check out my Patreon in the link in the description. Don't feel obligated to donate me on Patreon, but go check it out if you guys are interested in some of that. I'd really appreciate it. What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and we have some 2019 Prehistoric World Safari line figures. I said that a little back your backwards, but I don't really care because I'm so excited right now. We got some epic, epic stuff. I just cannot wait to talk about this. Let's get into it with the least exciting one first. Um, first off, we have a Tyrannosaurus, and now this is a sculpt of their older Tyrannosaurus from like... Oh, I don't know when. It was. It's a really old figure. I already have the really old one uh, that was like all green with the orange little spots and stuff and uh, like crests on it. And then they also have a newer one that's like a lime green with a dark green like shading along the back um, or another dark like patch, I guess you could say. Um, so they already had it, two versions of the repaint. This is a new one and it looks amazing. I love this one so much. I might just have to pick it up because I just love the sculpt of this one. It's such a classic for me because I grew up with them. I actually have two of the figures of the original. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a really, really cool repaint, um, which is really nice. That's, that's, a, that's a really unique one we got. All right, so up next, we got a Stegosaurus. Yes, another Morrison Formation animal. I love my Morrison Formation animals, and not just because I live in Colorado. That's not why I love the Morrison Formation. I actually, funny story, I fell in love with the Morrison Formation and its animals long before I actually knew that I lived in the Morrison Formation. It's kind of weird, but I was young, and I, you know, information kind of escapes you when you're a little bit younger. But Yes, I love the Morrison Formation. It has such amazing animals. And we got a Stegosaurus, and it's the brand new, up-to-date Stegosaurus. Like, they got it spot on. It's the, it's the new, like, almost like Miragaya-type body. It's got a lower back. It's got a much longer body, longer neck. Um, this this it, it just looks great. It looks absolutely phenomenal. The colors are stunning. The, the uh, plates are beautiful. It's just an absolutely outstanding figure. I'm really excited. It's a very expensive figure though. It's like $24.99 or something like that and it's only like eight inches long. So it's not very big but it's very expensive. So I don't know why exactly that is. It may just be really hard for them to make the plates um, and all that stuff on there but either way it's a pretty expensive figure for how big it is so that's that's a that's a complaint I have. Um, but other than that, it looks just absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get that one in hand. And if I'm being honest, I think this one may be, like, in terms of paint job and everything, maybe the best one that I'll be showing you today, um, of their new stuff. Because the, the paint application and everything just looks really well done and very crisp on this one. So, I'm really, really excited to get our new Sega Source. And we needed a new updated Sega Source, and I can't believe that they already put in the brand new one, which I think this new study is, like, from this year this year or late last year. It's really recent study and they already got that study on this this thing. I may be wrong in how recent it is, but either way, it's super recent. It is super recent and they already have a brand new Stegosaurus that covers that perfectly, so I'm really proud of Spari on that one. Next up, we have a Spinosaurus. Guys, we have a Spinosaurus. Yes, a Spinosaurus. And by the way, I probably should say that technically the Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, and the next one you guys will be seeing were all kind of leaked last night. Um, which kind of sucks, but um, they were real, revealed ahead of time, so I've, I've already known about this one for a while. Um, but we got a Spinosaurus, guys. Yes! Yes! Spinosaurus! That's basically where the excitement ends, to be honest. I'm not that big of a fan of this figure, if I'm being completely honest. I'm... I think that it's it's well done in the paint job, and I really had to warm up to it a bunch. My thought, original opinions on it were a lot more negative um, than it is now. The head sculpt and neck sculpt look amazing, but overall, the accuracy on this figure is a bit questionable. Um, Safari labels their figures as educational, and I really love how well they've been doing that, but 
they picked the least accurate of the three primary um, depictions you could have chosen for Spinosaurus. Now this could be them trying to do a, bi a short-legged bipedal Spinosaurus, but it's swimming so it's hard to tell, but I'm going to guess that it's supposed to be a quadrupedal one because its legs do kind of look a little short, but also their bio on it kind of hints to it being the quadrupedal one, it, it, but it may be a bipedal, uh, short-legged bipedal, maybe. Either way, if it is a quadrupedal, that's like the worst decision you could possibly go with. We know for a fact Spinosaurus was not quadrupedal. That is one thing that we know. Uh, like that, or we at least we know that the the evidence supporting it was a quadrupedal is all not legitimate. That doesn't work anymore. Oh, so we don't have any evidence suggesting that it's uh, quadrupedal. Um, we don't even really have any evidence suggesting it was short-legged. Uh, we have some theories suggesting that. It, it could have been short legged. Spinosaurus is such a mess. My main rule of thumb is that it has to look cool. I think that their spine, this, if you're gonna make a Spinosaurus, it has to look really, really cool. This Spinosaurus does kind of look cool. I do have to say it, it's growing on me, but the swimming pose doesn't really work for me. The the the, the legs look a little weird. And it just, it, overall, it doesn't look like it's swimming. It looks like it's just in a really awkward position. Like, a lot, in these pictures, they are in a white background, and they look like they're suspended. They don't have any point of reference, so it should really help out the figure and make it look like it's swimming if the pose is done correctly, because it's, it, there's no point of reference. So it should really look like it's buoyant, right? It should really help out the figure, especially if it's swimming. But it just looks awkward, and you can tell that it's supposed to be sitting down on something. So I don't really like the pose on this guy. Um, and I don't like the colors. Uh, I think the paint job is okay, pretty decently done, but the the stripes um, and stuff, they, they look a little weird. They're, they're a little too thick for my liking. They don't have enough differences to them. They're not, they're not, they're just too, too consistent in their size and shape, and the colors are very boring to me. Um, they are a little bit brighter than I was originally getting from some of the pictures that were leaked, um, they're, they're yellow, uh, it's got a little bit of a dull brown orange to its back, a little bit of a burnt orange, and a really bright golden yellow on its face. Um, but other than that, it's really just can be summed up by saying brown and tan, and it's just a really boring looking Spinosaurus to me. Um, I also don't really like the tail, I'm just not a very big fan of when people, um, depict uh, Spinosaurus is a very crocodilian looking animal uh, because I just I don't see the relation It's not very closely related to archosaurs, and it's not very closely related to crocodiles at all So when you put like a crocodile tail on it personally just my preference I don't really like it I'm not saying that's inaccurate. I mean technically probably really is inaccurate um, But it could have had some kind of convergent evolution with crocodilians um, the skull shape is a little bit off on the top jaw. It doesn't have much of a snack, like a little a notch in the jaw. Um, and the teeth look like they might be scooted back a little bit too far. Um, but overall, it looks really nice, and I really want to get it in person um, to really see how it's going to hold up and see how I feel. Because some pictures, like the picture from facing from the back, this picture really, I love that. I love it in this picture. Um, it mil really makes me like it a lot. Um, for some reason, that picture looks great. And then there's pictures like this one, um, this this side shot, and I just, oh god, I do not like it at all. So it, it's just, it's really finicky for me, and I really have to get it in person. I do plan on getting it, I really have to get it in person to know for sure. Um, but I have to say that I'm more excited for Schleich's Spinosaurus, which is shocking. Um, I, I'm not going to make a video yet on that new Schleich's Spinosaurus, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, look around for it. Um, my video will come out once they actually officially reveal all the images and not leak them because um, my friend Spino Dude Reviews actually made a video on some like leaked images and stuff that came out pretty early for some of the 2018 Schleich stuff and they copyright striked him. So I'm going to wait until they're officially revealed and we have all of the pictures then I'll be doing that but I'm really super excited for some of the Schleich stuff so keep an eye out for that. But Spinosaurus looks good. It, it looks good so far. But overall, I'm I'm really disappointed with it, to be honest. And I'm really disappointed that they went with a, um, what looks to be a very outdated depiction of it. They went for more of the 2014 design. And for a company like Safari that's really supposed to be about educational value and stuff, I think that that, that was probably not a very smart decision, in, in my opinion. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Allosaurus. We got a freaking Allosaurus, guys. We have an Allosaurus 
Oh my god. Yes, we got what I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. And the colors, can I say, look amazing. The colors look amazing. And they have white on it. I, ever since the 2014 line, I have been a sucker for white on dinosaurs. I just think that it, it looks amazing. I never would have thought of putting white on dinosaurs like that, but I think it look, it works. It's such a beautiful color, and it works so great on this Allosaurus. I'm, I love it. I think that the tail... Um, the, the tail part, like the waviness on the tail looks kind of goofy. Um, there's some parts that look really blocky and the, the, the like black outline or really dark outline around him doesn't really help. And the neck, uh, wavy parts don't really look that great. But the sculpt overall looks okay. Um, it's got some accuracy issues for sure. Um, its head is a little bit too big, its arms may be a little bit too small. Um, and overall it's got that fat issue that they're putting on the figures. I get that they're trying to counter the shrink wrapping and make it feel like it's a living animal with real meat and stuff on it, but you gotta stop putting too much of it on there, Safari. I'm, 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 you gotta stop putting it. And the Carnotaurus is really bad because Carnotaurus is a very sleek animal, um, so that was a, a, a pretty big no-no, but Allosaurus is a very athletic animal, and so it's a little bit more okay with the Allosaurus because it was a bit more thicker. Um, and, and musculature and whatnot, but I, I wish, just preferably, I would have wished um, that it 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 would have been a little bit more muscular and lean looking than it is here. The pose looks like it is going to be pretty cool. The This pose right here from behind, it looks absolutely amazing. It looks like some great leaning going on. And then there's this front pose, which m makes it more questionable. So I'm not sure how it's actually going to turn out. But it, it, hopefully it'll be really good. And the the mount, the head looked a little weird to me. The lips um, seem to be making the teeth suffer a bit. And the 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 overall though it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that overall. But I'd also have to say that I'm not excited about the size. Yet again, Safari is really liking to make some big figures here, and I'm gonna make it my mission this year to really make it known um, how much I do not like that because I feel like. Um, people did say it about the Amargosaurus, they did say they didn't like the size, but we weren't quite vocal enough, and uh, my friend Spino Dude Reviews has really pointed out this to me. Everybody's really complaining about the Carnotaurus in size, including myself. I absolutely hate how big that Carnotaurus is, that's just, it just really ruins the figure for me. But we didn't really tell Safari about it enough, that we really n don't like the size. So if you guys don't like the size of these larger figures, you gotta let Safari know. This one's 9 inches, so it is a bit shorter than the Carnotaurus. It's not as insane as the Carnotaurus. It's still a bit big. Uh, Allosaurus is about 33 feet long at the largest, and so 9 inches is putting it a little bit bigger than that. I'm gonna guess... I'm, ju I'm just going off my head here. I'm gonna guess around 36 feet long. Uh, maybe 37 is uh, if you're putting it 140 scale. Maybe even 40, depending on the, the curvature of the tail. We don't really know, so it, and I'm not counting Sorophagonax. We don't really know enough about Sorophagonax, so don't try to bring that up because Sorophagonax is a really big issue, and Sorophagonax was not as big as people like to say it was, even though uh, it is a little bit bigger than our typical Allosaurus stuff. And I, I know my Morrison stuff, so I, I know what I'm talking about there. So trust me, it's it's not really a, an accurate Sorophagonax if it is a, a trying to be a Sorophagonax uh, combined Allosaurus, whatever. Anyways. Really excited for the Allosaurus. Think it looks great. Definitely gonna get it. Probably gonna get a bunch of repaints from Spino Dude on it because I'm not too crazy about some of the application with the white, um, the white stuff. But the white stripes on the legs look pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one's gonna look in person. I'm just really happy that we finally got an Allosaurus and that it looks a lot better. So I'm thank you so much, Safari. That's just freaking awesome. I'm, I can't believe we got that. And then here we go. Finally, a figure I can just flat out say is just positive, like the Stegosaurus, the Pteranodon. This Pteranodon looks beautiful. It is a sitting perched pose. It's so so great, so unique. Amazingly beautiful crest and beak. I just love that so much. We have amazing pigno fibers on it. It just looks absolutely stunning. I love this, the Pteranodon so much. It just, it looks great. I just can't wait to get it. It looks like a wonderful piece on the shelf. Um, for people who like like kids that like to play with their, their uh, prehistoric animal, uh, figures and uh, people like us who like to make series like Dinosaur Island genre type series and stuff It's going to be a little bit more difficult to use because it can't fly um, But it'll help out with the perch stuff So I really hope Safari actually starts doing kind of like a collective thing where they can make the same paint job and the same sculpt 
but in a different pose. I would really love to see you um, make a flying version of this Pteranodon Safari. I think that would be absolutely beautiful if you guys could make a flying version of this exact same Pteranodon, and that could go and coincide with it. Maybe you could even do one of your like set things. You guys like selling some of those sets, so you could sell a set of them, um, which is uh, the perched one and the flying one. I think that would just be amazing, and there that way the people, you know, kids can play with them and make them transition and whatnot. Um, also, fun fact, this is a male pteranodon. We do actually have sexual dimorphism with, um, pteranodons. We do know what they look like. Uh, males are a little bit bigger than the females, and they have, um, uh, bigger crests than the females. And I can show a picture right here, I think, of Mart Witten's, um, depiction of the sexual di dimorphism. So yeah, this is a male pteranodon, so that's a little fun fact there, and so it does help out with the, the colorful crest one. And we do have some white on it again, um, which is really beautiful. So, the pteranodon looks stunning. So let's do a little sum up here. We got the Tyrannosaurus repaint. Looks great. Definitely going to be getting that, um, or probably going to be getting that one, because uh, it looks really good. I love the paint job on that. We have a Stegosaurus, which is just awesome. I'm definitely getting Stegosaurus 100%. Um, the Spinosaurus, a bit questionable. I'm really curious to see what you guys think of the Spinosaurus, so please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that Spinosaurus. Yeah, I really, I'm really curious to see what you guys think about that one. I'm definitely going to be getting it, depending on how much I like it in person, is whether or not I'll be keeping it. I think I'm going to end up liking it based on certain images, but then again, it could end up being a dud for me, so who knows? We're going to have to see it in person. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing if Safari does one of their videos, like their spotlight videos. Go check out their channel. I'm going to link it up in the top right corner right now. Go check out their channel. They do a bunch of spotlight videos on their new 2019 stuff. They might start doing it for um, these ones, and then you can see what it kind of looks like in person um, or in hand. And then we have the Allosaurus, which just looks amazing. We got an Allosaurus. Yes! A little bit disappointed with it in some areas. The accuracy is a bit questionable in areas. The, the size is definitely an issue. Um, really hope the Safari starts fixing up the size. Um, speaking of size, I actually did forget to mention that the Spinosaurus has really freaking big scales, and this figure is 14 inches long. The accuracy, yet again, on the scales is just very questionable. So the Spinosaurus overall is very questionable in accuracy. The Pteranodon looks beautiful. I just love the Pteranodon. I can't wait to get that. So for sure, I'm definitely going to be getting all four of these newer figures. Um, going to be probably getting the repaint just because it looks nice. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed we only got 10 figures this year. Um, and I do know that this is all we have because I actually talked to Safari. Well, they kind of hinted at it, so it could be like, they could be playing and tugging my, or yanking my chain here, but here's the, the messages that I was having with Safari here. They, it seems like this is it. So we got 10 figures, three figures less than 2018 and 2017. Um, according to Spino Dude, I'm not exactly sure he, he could have his math a little bit wrong, but um, that's okay, everybody has mistakes, but he told me based on his countings that 2017 and 2018 both had 13 figures. This year has 10. Um, we got six figures revealed through YouTube and um, the Dinotube community, and then these four, um, not including the repainted Tyrannosaurus. If you can include that, then it's 11, but I'm not going to count that. So 10 figures, it's not bad for sure. Um, we got some great stuff, we got some... Uh, questionable stuff as well, some controversial stuff, like the Spinosaurus, the Allosaurus, and uh, Carnotaurus. I've actually already been hearing that some a lot of people have been complaining about the Spinosaurus and Allosaurus, so I'm really curious to see what you guys think. If, uh, please, 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 please share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are looking forward uh, to the new 2019 Safari stuff. Tell me what you, what you guys want most out of the whole collection so far, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!